the motive of a hacker is very, very important. So we need to develop a strong data protection strategy because our data is the most valuable currency in the world. Hackers always want to steal our data, but we don't know what actually they are going to use our data for. But in this video, I'm going to show you what they are going to use our data for and why we should protect our data. I still remain the name Ko Saiba. Do well to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also, don't forget to tap on the notification bell to get more videos like this. So now, let's get into the video. Please, this video is strictly for educational purposes. Don't use the idea on anyone. So number one is personal identity information or personal information. If uh, what do hackers want from you? Your personal information first, your phone number, your date of birth, your place, your, uh, your SS number, your social security number. If they have access to this number or a hacker can identify you, locate you and contact you, then know that your information has been stolen and they can use this information to take loan in your name or even subject you to a lifetime spam. So we should protect our personal information strictly. I mean strictly. Number two, which is financial information. What do hackers want when they get your financial information? The place where you do your banking, your banking insurance, and your billing account. When a hacker have this information, they have the major ahead to go. They can use your financial information to do what? To transfer funds, uh, pay bills, and do other things. So we need to do what? Protect it now before it is too late. So this is where they get their information when it comes to financial system. Number three, which is payment card information. What do they want? Your credit card or your debit card numbers. See, your credit card or your debit card has some numbers. These numbers have the information for online purchases and transfer of funds. And it is very, very easy for anyone to crack your numbers. So put your uh, credit card or your debit card at the safest place or from a place that a hackers or anyone cannot have access to it, but only you. So let's get to the number four. But before that, do well to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also don't forget to tap on the notification bell if you're not watching this video to the end, do well to watch it to the end. So the number four is educational information. What do hackers want? want? Transcribes or transcripts or school record. This information is not much lucrative like the others. But they can use this information for blackmailing and extortion. So every school must protect their school record from hackers or any other cyber criminal force. Number five, which is the last one, and it is the health care information. When, when a hacker gets this information, let's say they have your insurance, um, they have your insurance, your hospital record. Do you know that our hospital record take most of our, pers of our personal information. So when a hacker grab that one, it's, it is two in one. They can get your personal information and they can get your hospital records. Okay. When they have this information, what do they do with it? One, they can use it for false claims, buy prescription in your name, and also, also you need to pay what? Bills. All in your name, and this money will be deducted from your account. Go by the name Ko Saiba. Do well to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also, don't forget to tap on the notification bell to get more videos like this. I'm out.